Welcome to Goa 365. We have with us today a very, very special personality. He comes from Israel, Dr. Fisher. He is many persons in one body. Uh, he has three PhD degrees. Uh, he has done his master's in uh, pharmacy, in microbiology and biochemistry. Bi bio yes. um, he has been a teacher. The company, Dr. Fisher's Pharmaceutical, which he runs, is the largest private company uh, in Israel, not just in the pharmaceutical sector, but in any sector. Private manufacturing company. Uh, uh, private manufacturing country. So welcome, Dr. Fisher. Thank you. He is here today for uh, not selling his uh, products to India, but he's here for actually uh, propagation of peace through art. So first, let's uh, understand from him his early life, his aspirations, his education. So, Dr. Fisher, please tell us about um, yourself a little. Okay, I studied biochemistry and microbiology at the University of Jerusalem. And then I was teaching in Harvard University in America, uh, biochemistry, one year. And then I went to the University of California, when I, where I studied pharmacy, pharmacology, and developed the, uh, eye drops for glaucoma, against glaucoma, yeah. which is a pressure within the eye. Uh, then I went back to Was it. this a patented product, what you developed against glaucoma? Yes, yeah. it was patented. It was the drug of choice for several years. Mm -hmm. Now there are better ones. Okay. So and it was uh, used in many countries. Okay. I don't know. Uh, glaucoma, by the way, is a condition of the eye where the pressure inside the eyeball becomes very high and then many things happen, including pain. So while you were a student, you developed, uh, yes. uh, developed this uh, medicine. My doctorate. Yeah. And then I went back to Israel with my wife and we started the company with $5,000. We rented a place of 100 square meters, uh, cost us $115 a month. And we started, the eye started to develop eye and skin medicines. We specialize in eye and skin. And now we have uh, close to 1,000 uh, people in our company working with us, uh, over 30 uh, uh, people in the laboratory who do, all, all they are doing is developing new products, we mm -hmm. develop hundreds of products, mm -hmm. and uh, we sell in 30 countries, mm -hmm. unfortunately, unfortunately not in <laughs> India yet, uh -huh. we are trying, but we are not selling in India and nothing, mm -hmm. and here we came with our exhibition mm -hmm. or collection uh, of R for Peace. Uh, before we go to that, uh, I would like to know a little bit more about your company. You come from a land which is a conflict zone in the world, one of the important conflict zones and uh, between Arabs and the uh, Jewish people. And you and your company, uh, do you have any Arabs working? Yes, we have about 200 Arabs working with the Jewish people together mm -hmm. in corporate full cooperation and full mm -hmm. good relations. Mm -hmm. And in Israel, people don't hear about it. What you hear on the news always is the conflicts and killing and wars, but we have a lot of uh, uh, Arabs and Jews working together in all of our hospitals, the Israeli hospitals. You have Arab doctors, you have Arab, ph Arab pharmacists, you have uh, Arab lawyers mm -hmm. in Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, the, pop the Arab population in Israel is about 20%. Mm -hmm. Arabs and about 80% or 70% Jewish people and the rest are different. Mm -hmm. so we, uh, we are can you tell me a little bit more about this because uh, this is very nice to hear because most people as you rightly said including most press and television talk about conflicts. Most people talk about war not about peace. Right. So uh, you give an example of Nazareth. Yes. Uh, In Nazareth you have Jews and Arabs, I mean it started with Arabs, especially Christians, mm -hmm. have many churches there mm -hmm. and so on, but you have Muslims, you have Christians and you have Jewish people mm -hmm. and they all live together mm -hmm. and uh, they call it the, the, the city of peace. Mm -hmm. And uh, But it's also in Jerusalem, it's also in uh, Tel Aviv Jaffa, which is another big city, the biggest mm -hmm. city mm -hmm. in Israel. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also do business with the uh, Arab uh, what they call the Palestinian mm -hmm. territory, mm -hmm. uh, which are only Arabs, and we mm -hmm. have a conflict with, we, we, we still negotiating and signing a peace agreement with mm -hmm. the Palestinians, mm -hmm. which is maybe will be in the near future, I don't know mm -hmm. when, but we work very good 
there with we have very good relations mm-hmm. they all use our products in mm-hmm. Israel we're in every home mm-hmm. our products and mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. that's it so what is the total turnover of your company the what the turnover of your company ah, we are about uh, over 100 million dollars. With 100 million dollars okay over. now coming to the reason why you have come here is for art for peace yeah. so you started this project and i read in your autobiography about an anecdote where you actually went for an art auction can you please right. tell us about it yeah. in 1979 egypt and israel signed the peace agreement so an art uh, collector he went to the post office and bought envelopes with the stamp of the first day of peace between israel and egypt he sent it to 100 artists and asked them to paint, to paint on them envelopes on the subject of peace mm-hmm. And they did, and then they uh, had an auction mm-hmm. uh, to sell it, and I bought it mm-hmm. in the auction. And uh, since then, uh, we showed it in uh, museums in Israel, mm-hmm. and then we took it around the world. Ah, and then when there was a peace agreement signed between Jordan and Israel in mm-hmm. 1994, mm-hmm. So 15, uh, about 15 years difference mm-hmm. between them, Again, we went to the artists mm-hmm. and asked them to paint on the subject of peace, and they mm-hmm. did. So we had about 300 or more envelopes on the subject of peace, mm-hmm. and we tra- tra- uh, went around the world, starting in New York, Washington, uh, London, and so on, to show it. And really, arti- artists represent 90% of the, the population, not all of them. And the artists who, who paint on the subject of peace show that Israel wants peace. Mm-hmm. Because people hear only about wars. About mm-hmm. it. So we took it around to show the people mm-hmm. that we want peace. And in every opening of the exhibition, we made sure that the uh, ambassadors of Jordan, Egypt and Israel will speak in the opening. Mm-hmm. And uh, we thought that we contribute mm-hmm. to, to peace. We mm-hmm. didn't think that uh, mm-hmm. we're, not, we're not naive that we thought that uh, peace would be bought by art mm-hmm. but usually art and, and, and culture come before the diplomats and the politicians mm-hmm. because art is an international language you mm-hmm. don't have to understand the, the language you don't understand you see art you understand it no mm-hmm. matter where you come from mm-hmm. and we see our uh, responsibility as a big manufacturer and industrialist to contribute to the community also mm-hmm. And we do it in different ways, mm-hmm. which I don't want to, I don't think we, we mm-hmm. should talk about it now, but part of it is throughout. Mm-hmm. And my wife and I took uh, uh, this uh, uh, subject, because you have to specialize in something, you cannot do everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, we started with this, we bought this collection mm-hmm. uh, in, in the auction, and then we added mm-hmm. envelopes and other uh, pictures. Mm-hmm. We also uh, uh, declared uh, competition among the children of the world mm-hmm. on, on coexistence and peace mm-hmm. we receive about 1500 envelopes mm-hmm. not envelopes I'm sorry pictures, uh, paint, paintings, pictures, yes. paintings paintings mm-hmm. and we had an exhibition of it and then we contributed mm-hmm. into over 10 children hospitals in Israel mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. hanging in the corridors there mm-hmm. the pictures of children mm-hmm. of the world mm-hmm. uh, uh, painting on the mm-hmm. subject of the uh, coexistence and peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, you also published a book with all these uh, pictures. Yes. yes, we published mm-hmm. a book mm-hmm. and this book we gave to uh, uh, our presidents, presidents mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. Israel, mm-hmm. Ki- King Hussein who was the king of Jordan mm-hmm. and then King Abdallah his son mm-hmm. to Dr. Kissinger who was the foreign minister of the mm-hmm. United States mm-hmm. and to everyone who, we, and to our prime ministers of course, mm-hmm. to everyone that we who that we thought that he can contribute to peace. Mm-hmm. Up to now, mm-hmm. we have peace with Jordan and with uh, uh, it, Egypt. Egypt yes. We have unofficial relations with many Arab countries, from, mm-hmm. from what I understand, I read about it. Mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia, Dubai, and mm-hmm. Kuwait. But uh, with the Palestinians, mm-hmm. we're still negotiating, mm-hmm. and I hope mm-hmm. that... You made a very nice statement when you uh, went around the Museum of Goa today and uh, you talked about uh, uh, how art can communicate. Can you repeat that? Ah. Uh, you mean that art... <coughs> I, I think I said it, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Art is uh, 
international language, yeah. the language that comes before the politicians, yeah. before any, uh -huh. any uh, mm -hmm. diplomats, mm -hmm. it comes in mm -hmm. before and the cooperation, people who work together from different mm -hmm. cultures, from different countries, mm -hmm. they can work together. I mean, they, they have a, a common project, yeah. many mm -hmm. common projects mm -hmm. between Indians and, and England, England, mm -hmm. Israelis mm -hmm. and Americans, mm -hmm. and they understand this, each other immediately, and mm -hmm. they have all kinds of uh, 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 seminars and uh, uh, work workshops mm -hmm. together. Many many people, mm -hmm. also Israeli and Arabs, together, and, mm -hmm. and we do a lot of art. Uh, yeah. So I also believe very much that art is a universal language of mankind. Right. And uh, recently I was in. Venice and uh, one of the curators made a very nice statement. He said that art, contemporary art, is the new Gothic. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Polak, who is our, uh, Of all yeah, of our yeah, yeah, the world, yeah, yes. yeah. Now, Doran Pollock, I have been associated with him, and I think uh, it's a great job that you have taken this exhibition to 30 countries. And uh, I'm told that you also have a gallery. Yes, hmm? yes. We run a gallery in Israel, an art gallery mm -hmm. in Tel Aviv, and this gallery we call a social gallery. Mm -hmm. Why? Because every two months we replace the exhibition. There are mm -hmm. not our pictures from mm -hmm. different artists in Israel. And uh, we do it every two months with another non-profit organization, mm -hmm. invalids, autists, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And all the money that is gained from the picture, from selling mm -hmm. the picture, all mm -hmm. of it goes to the, this uh, organization, non-profit mm -hmm. organization. Mm -hmm. This also gives the uh, organization a, mm -hmm. a chance to, to, to show themselves in the middle of the country, middle of mm -hmm. Tel Aviv. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, have all uh, their supporters and so on coming. So mm -hmm. every two months, we do it for 10 years already. Mm -hmm. My wife died about 11 years ago, so mm -hmm. it's named after her name for mm -hmm. a feature. Mm -hmm. And we do it uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, this is for the first time you are doing it in India? Yes. Mm -hmm. First time we're doing the exhibition in India, and uh -huh. the first time I'm here. Yeah, first visit to India. Yeah. And you obviously also ate the Indian food for the first time last evening. Very good food. Mm -hmm. I like it very mm -hmm. much. It's mm -hmm. Also the spicy food, yes. And mm -hmm. we'll stay here a few more days. So. Mm -hmm. And what was the, how did the idea of doing uh, the exhibition in India come? The idea of doing okay. it in, in India? India? Yeah. I, th I told you, we, we did it in, in 30 countries. Yeah. India is uh, uh, okay. <laughs> one of the smallest countries, one uh, billion, 200 million. And yeah. we, I think you had also, uh, you have also uh, neighbors, you don't have conflicts as we have, but uh, yes, we have the, you have uh, misunderstandings, let's mm -hmm. say, with Pakistan mm -hmm. and uh, Bangladesh and mm -hmm. the world. And mm -hmm. I think it's very important also for you. Mm -hmm. It's very similar condition in principle mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. what we have in our area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it, it fits when we talk about peace mm -hmm. and coexistence. I think mm -hmm. this is, uh, fits India like it fits Israel. In a yeah, yeah, I think it, uh, this kind of peace project should fit uh, the whole world. The whole and world. Um, it's very important that we pursue this through art. Unfortunately, yeah. most of the world has conflicts. Mm -hmm. Even an internal one, like yeah. Belgium between two yeah. nations. And mm -hmm. now in Spain, they want mm -hmm. to separate. Yeah, separate again. So we have conflicts almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, mm -hmm. it's everywhere. Yeah. It's important for everyone. Yeah. So for uh, us particularly, it is very important uh, that okay, this exhibition is there in the Museum of Goa, because uh, as a museum, as, a, as an artist, I uh, have been connected with the Gandhi Project of Peace. And uh, India has given some of the most important messiahs of peace to the world, Gandhi and Buddha. Yeah. And um, it's a country of Gandhi. And um, so we are working on a Gandhi project, which is called Reclaiming Gandhi. And how is the awareness about Gandhi in your country? I think in Israel all, almost everyone knows the name of Gandhi. Mm -hmm. We all know and we take it as an example of how to, uh, to, to teach people of non-violence, mm -hmm. achieving re results and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, achieving uh, goals without violence. Mm -hmm. Actually, the opposite of violence. Yes. Violence usually does not achieve much. Mm -hmm. Achieve only something temporary. Mm -hmm. You have a war, you win, you lose. I mean, mm -hmm. every war, every war, everyone loses, of course. Yes. So you can achieve, and Gandhi is a symbol for us mm -hmm. of, uh, of coexistence and of non-violence. Mm -hmm. That's what we, we want all the people in Israel, not all of them agree with it, but mm -hmm. most do agree and most educate the children for non-violence in schools mm -hmm. and everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's one of the most interesting things is the greatest compliment for Gandhi came from a Jewish person who could have been your first prime minister, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Yeah. So Einstein was very much connected with Gandhi and there were many letters which they exchanged. And one of our projects is Gandhi and Einstein. And what he said about Gandhi is very interesting. He said, generations to come shall scarce believe that such a man in flesh and blood ever walked upon this earth. So I would be very interested in having a collaboration with you to do a project uh, in, in, in Tel Aviv. I think we should, mm -hmm. in our gallery or another, to uh, expand mm -hmm. uh, the new project of Gandhi, yeah. uh, Gandhi memory or Gandhi, uh, uh, what do you call it, mm -hmm. uh, uh, history, mm -hmm. uh, to Israel and show mm -hmm. it in Israel, not, uh, not mm -hmm. that we hear it from the distance. No, no. It has to be in Israel, mm -hmm. we'll invite many of the yeah. Israelis and it will mm -hmm. be, mm -hmm. on, I hope, in, in, yeah. in Israeli television. Mm -hmm. Everyone will see exactly, mm -hmm. we'll understand more mm -hmm. because we mm -hmm. don't know the mm -hmm. details, all of us. Mm -hmm. Some mm -hmm. you, I mean, mm -hmm. people of my generation know more mm -hmm. about it. We saw movies, we saw everything about mm -hmm. uh, Gandhi and mm -hmm. his uh, non-violence uh, mm -hmm. uh, movement. Mm -hmm. But I think it will be very important for us in Israel to have it in Israel mm -hmm. because now it's very actual in Israel to, mm -hmm. to teach the people you know, mm -hmm. that you can achieve mm -hmm. things without violence. Yeah. And I think what you're doing is also very important because I believe that uh, especially through uh, even involving children uh, and doing works, posters connected with uh, peace is very important because I have a friend here called Amitava Bhattacharya and he works with uh, tribal artists and in India as you know we have a lot of uh, Maoist areas, Naxalite areas and a lot of killing happens. Actually, the internal threat from Naxalites to India is greater than the external threat. And there's a lot of violence here. And this man devoted his life to basically promoting crafts and music of the tribal people. And there are concrete examples that at least in a few areas, the Naxalite and the Maoist violence was completely eliminated. Because people devoted to art and they started singing rather than shooting bullets. And I think um, the art has a great role to play in um, uh, achieving this. Well, I think it maybe it's more important even now in the world because terrorism is spread so much. Mm -hmm. And this is violence. Yeah. And almost everyone in the world knows that it disturbs life, mm -hmm. and it kills people for nothing. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you have to, and maybe it influences some children. Yeah. Uh, they think that they, they, this, uh, the, the terrorists achieve things. So yeah. you have to teach the children mm -hmm. how to object it, how to, to, to fight it, and how mm -hmm. to, to, to grow without violence, and, mm -hmm. and that they can achieve their dreams mm -hmm. better without violence, with, uh, 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 without wars, without terrorism, mm -hmm. and I think it's now a... Do you have any grandchildren? I want do you have any grandchildren? Yes. Uh, do they play with these video games? Do you watch them sometimes? Of course, of course they play. And uh, most of the games you must have noticed are games of violence. Maybe, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is another interesting thing which I'm observing, that most video games which our children play, uh, unfortunately, you get a point when you kill. Yes. There's all the time killing happens. Uh -huh. So, as a Gandhi project, we are actually working on creating video games of compassion. Oh, very good. That you create an act of uh, kindness, act of non-violence, and you win a point. So it's very important because mm -hmm. these video games are mm -hmm. spread all over the world and yeah. the children are always all the time playing with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very, very important to mm -hmm. give them the right uh, movies, mm -hmm. the right uh, games mm -hmm. on, on, uh, mm -hmm. on uh, uh, video. Yeah. Uh, what are your future plans uh, with this project of peace, mm -hmm. art for peace? What are the future plans? First of all, we buy, I buy pictures and sculptures a painting from all over the world on the on the subject of peace and only I'm, okay. not, a, I'm not an art collection, I'm a collector, I'm a peace collector. Oh that is wonderful, I think. And I don't I don't I don't think that the, most of the artists like it. 
mm -hmm. what I'm saying, but that's the, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in peace and, and, and I started it, my wife and I started it, mm -hmm. because we thought that this can be one contribution to mm -hmm. peace and we as individuals, mm -hmm. that's what we can do. I mean, we do it with our money, mm -hmm. with our time, mm -hmm. no other, we don't ask anyone mm -hmm. to support mm -hmm. or to mm -hmm. participate mm -hmm. and you have to, to, to do what you can. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is what we can do and we, I'm still buying and still, and we'll show like what we are doing now in, in your uh, <laughs> museum here, we want to show mm -hmm. to people the uh, artist messengers of peace uh, mm -hmm. collection and exhibition. I think peace is the greatest form of art. <laughs> And hopefully our leaders realize that and the people realize that because uh, violence has been tried enough and has not worked. Right. So one has to, uh, I mean, high time we try peace. Yeah. peace. Uh, Gandhi had a very interesting idea. He thought about an army of peace. Uh, you might be aware of uh, the army, Terracotta army in China. Yes, of course. There are, I think, 8,000 human-sized figures of uh, terracotta and the uh, army of uh, uh, the army which was supposed to protect the emperor in his afterlife now we have come up with an idea uh, of creating an army a terracotta army of non-violence a thousand or more figures in terracotta uh, created with uh, almost about 200 tribal terracotta artists do you think and uh, gandhi believed that if there's an army with guns and there is another army across with, without guns just wearing a white dress with nothing so they kill me Gandhi believed it will work what do you think I don't know you don't know I don't, I don't know if it will work uh -huh. if someone attacks you uh -huh. I mean you have to protect yourself and I don't uh -huh. think if you say okay now kill me uh -huh. I'm standing, I don't think it will work okay uh, but an idea it's huh? yeah. good but uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I think you have to, to teach both sides, mm -hmm. not, mm -hmm. to, not mm -hmm. to take. But if you are attacked, you have to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Even here on the street, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone yeah. comes to, to rob you and you say, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not violent, take whatever mm -hmm. I, I mm -hmm. can. Maybe. Yeah. Would you like to add a little bit more on your future projects? Um, yes. We, as I said, we see it, uh, the, the, our activity in art or in social activity as an integral part of our company, mm -hmm. not as a philanthropy. We put a lot of money and my daughters, I have three daughters, they are very active mm -hmm. in different organizations, non-profit organizations, mm -hmm. helping children who were taken out of homes, mm -hmm. broken homes, or where there was cruelty against homes. Mm -hmm. So we are supporting financially and the girl, the daughters are working on this. Mm -hmm. Other project, one of the daughters is an artist by herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see her book here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, lovely works, yeah. Yeah, and she contributed now 16 pictures to uh, uh, emergency uh, hospital. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. hanging there. Mm -hmm. We contributed pictures to mm -hmm. uh, children hospitals. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, uh, one, of, one is also the head of the education uh, uh, committee of the mm -hmm. Manufacturers mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. Another daughter, Sigal, is uh, uh, active in, uh, in uh, uh, an organization, a uh, uh, volunteer organization of women to support and to uh, enforce women who have no money or mm -hmm. who need, need help. So mm -hmm. they, they also help a mm -hmm. lot of uh, uh, women projects. Mm -hmm. uh, like if someone wants to go to the university, a girl, and doesn't have money, so mm -hmm. they help her with mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. and other things also. Mm -hmm. And we continue in the future. First of all, in our business factory, we are developing products and we're thinking it is, since it's medicine, mm -hmm. and without health, you, don't, you cannot fight for peace. Mm -hmm. To be healthy first. Yes. So we, are, we are now uh, looking at the future because uh, uh, medicine, as you know, in the future will look different than what it is today. There are many developments, mm -hmm. many future developments that we mm -hmm. don't know about them anymore. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to be in this uh, startup companies and so on that develop future mm -hmm. medicines, mm -hmm. uh, especially for skin and eyes, but mm -hmm. for everything mm -hmm. else. Okay. And of course, mm -hmm. in peace, we, mm -hmm. we are trying to, yeah. to continue this mm -hmm. uh, uh, project in different countries. Okay, I think you are doing a great, great contribution to peace. Uh, I t am very sure that with your efforts, uh, peace will start growing even in the Dead Sea area.
in spite of the high salinity and uh, high tensions. And uh, thank you for bringing this exhibition to Museum of Goa, to India. And uh, we are really looking forward to associating with your organization and uh, also taking the Gandhi project to Israel and perhaps more parts of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing <laughs> us to show it here and to maybe start a, a worldwide project with Gandhi. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you.